Former New York Congressman George Santos is set to appear in federal court on Long Island this afternoon, where he's expected to plead guilty to multiple felony charges. His corruption case had been set to go to trial next month, but on Friday, Santos's defense team and the prosecution requested this afternoon's court date. Santos previously pleaded not guilty to all 23 felony counts against him, including wire fraud, money laundering, theft of public funds. Without a plea deal, he was facing up to 20 years in prison. Santos became the sixth member of Congress to be expelled from the chamber last December. CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland is outside the federal courthouse on Long Island with more. Scott Santos has been defiant. He has called all this a witch hunt. He's facing 23 counts in all. Do we know what he's expected to plead guilty to? Not which counts yet or how many counts, but we know this for sure. His political career and his legal odyssey have been a, a, a novel, and this may be the climactic chapter of this crazy story. George Santos has been insistent that he was the victim of a political persecution or a politically motivated prosecution. He has been intransigent, saying that all of this is some form of a witch hunt. He was expelled from Congress in December after these charges were filed and after he confirmed that he had fabricated his life story, his background, his family life, his roots, his biography, and his resume. These criminal charges are federal felonies, nearly two dozen of them, Lindsay, including money laundering, wire fraud, a conspiracy. Also, he's alleged to have ripped off his own campaign contributors stealing their identities to rack up his own credit card charges. This has been an odyssey for George Santos ever since he was elected in November 2022. This will be a seminal moment in that story here today. Right. I mean, some of his fabrications, Scott, are outlandish, not criminal. But let's talk a little bit more about the allegations because, yes, he is accused of um, taking those donations, you know, spending them, according to prosecutors, frivolously, Botox treatments, designer clothing, um, and a lot of the donors uh, have spoken to the media as well, and, and they want justice. Yeah, there's a possibility in a federal criminal case, there's also a restitution ordered as part of sentencing, as he has to make people whole in a case like this. There are so many different twists to this story. George Santos is simultaneously accused of doctoring his campaign records, inflating them with money that wasn't actually there, and of ripping off his own donors for the money that was there for the things you just described, including Botox treatment and the designer clothes and spa treatments. All of this is made for a unique criminal case, the likes of which we have not seen emanate from Congress. And here we are nine months after George Santos was expelled from the U.S. House. He'll walk in the courthouse behind me, go to the 10th floor, and we expect him to plead guilty to some number of the 23 federal charges he faces. So, Scott, we, we may not know exactly what spurned this change of heart. He hasn't spoken about this yet. He may not give us more insight in the court hearings, but is it likely in your experience in covering cases like this that he's doing this to avoid even harsher penalties? I mean, will he still face jail time as part of this plea? The prospect of prison time remains um, until we hear what charges he's pleading to. These are federal felonies. They often result in prison time. Why the plea agreement? Well, we know time is running short between today and his trial date. His trial is set to begin September 16th. And two of his former campaign aides have already pleaded guilty and agreed to cooperate with the prosecutors. The pressure was growing. What will we learn today about what he thinks, his state of mind, his thoughts on the case? Probably very little. We look for sentencing when defendants are given a chance to speak to the judge and speak their mind. George Santos, if nothing else, Lindsay, has a track record of always speaking his mind. More question before we let you go. I know we're running out of time here, but because Santos has dug his heels in and this is such a, a change and turning of events, do you anticipate, knowing what you know about him, that he might express any remorse throughout this process? We'd be surprised if he doesn't express something to us as he comes and goes from this hearing. But a plea agreement hearing is not where you demonstrate remorse. That comes at sentencing. It sure is a possibility, Lindsay, but sentencing is likely not until either later this year or into 2025. Okay, Scott McFarland, appreciate your reporting. Thank you.